Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Pepe, um, which we actually, I mean, this is your daily update on Pepe, of course, but there's actually quite a lot we can talk about because yesterday we actually had a nice bullish move um, around uh, around 7 p.m. in the evening, or at least for me, we actually got a nice little spike up to that 19,000, 19,500 level. And, and in the update yesterday, we did talk about the possibility of doing something like that. I did not think we could get this high. I think I said 18,000 and 18,500 as my price target. But uh, but we did talk about this possibility. I, I, I said there was like a 25% chance, right? So I did not think this was the most likely scenario. I'll just be honest about that. Um, but it happened. And one thing I, for, I forgot to take into account in my analysis yesterday, it's actually a very important thing which we'll talk about. But uh, but before we do that, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comments, and there you'll find instructions on how to join. But the thing I forgot is that historically, Pepe has always been bullish in the weekends. Like for example, this is the weekend, like Saturday, we were bullish. Last weekend was actually right here. We were very bullish, right? And the weekend before that, was right here we were also in in the weekend we were fairly bullish then and before that we were not so bullish but we were in in the weekend we actually got some relief and then again the weekend before that uh this saturday sunday we were very bullish again so usually that saturday sunday is bullish for pepe um you can think about why that is it doesn't really matter you should just know that it is the case but afterwards we always tend to drop down and right now what you see is that the volume for pepe has gone up a little bit more so that's great. However, we've also stalled out a bit and it's already dropping again. So can we actually get towards 20,000 and 20,500 and perhaps even 22,500? Yes, with Pepe, nothing is nothing is impossible. I just want to, to state that. However, we do need to do some things very soon. Like for example, right now we're dropping down to this level right here between 16,000 and 16,500, perhaps the most important level. Uh, especially now that it's paired up with all of these EMAs while well, we are trending and that, uh, and that trend line. So I think we'll drop down there. Now from there, what we would have to do, and that's the only way in which we can get new higher highs, is that if we find support there, we would need to very quickly, so in about two or three days, break above, let's say, let's say we, we would need to break above at least 18,500. All right, so that's a big breakout, I know, but that really is the only way. I mean, I expect to get some support from here, but we need to get a bullish breakout like that if we want to get towards 20,500 and even have to and, and to have the chance to go up to 23 and 24,000, which is, by the way, always what I name the prizes as most of you will understand. Um, so that's the only way. I, I think we're nearing a major support level. I think Bitcoin will actually open bullish um, in the next 24 hours or the beginning of next week in terms of open, in terms of opening. Um, so it is actually possible. I expect support from this level, but if we cannot get that bullish breakout, what will just happen is that we'll slowly start to fall down, like we also did last week, and that at some point of time we'll drop down to 15,000 again. Um, but I'll keep you updated, on, of course, uh, on, on, on Pepe tomorrow as well, so then we'll see what kind of touch we got and if that actually is enough, or that it looks like it will be enough to get some sort of a new higher high. And to so actually rally again, so that's something for tomorrow. But for now, this was uh, my this is my analysis and my thoughts on Pepe for now. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.